Uh, I'm Aaron, um, we're at Gentleman Road uh, in Ashley Road in Paul, um, and I'm having a haircut and a beer trip. It's the first time here, but I've heard good reviews, so yeah. Right, so with the hair then, so we do a one on the side, yeah. and then taper it up, taper up, and then you want that all sort of brushed across. Yeah, yeah. 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 You see, I used to have a line in here. Yeah, I can tell um, it's so been like, yeah, it's been clipped. Kind of, kind of grow it over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then do you want a lot off the yeah, top? Uh, not really, we're trying to keep the length, but it's been out. Yeah, yeah. Okay. all right. And then with the beard, yeah, we just take off, obviously, like, yeah, back to there, back, just yeah. sculpt yeah. that in. Yeah. All right, nice one, man. Yeah. What we'll do is I'll style it like a side part. Yeah. So you can obviously start growing a little bit more weight on this corner. Yeah. You'll see where it's been clipped high before, like we said. You want to start growing this section out. So if I just style it as it is now, let that grow down, then eventually you better all push it all across. I look in the mirror, just with the two fingers, I put it either side, and then I can see that's level, and I'm happy with that line. And then where I've created my line along the bottom, just with the teeth, just like to flick that out. Reach down to the zero just to get that last bit. Just go for my two now. And just flick through. <laughs> So yeah, same again on this side, just running that two all the way around again. I'm going to try and leave a little bit more weight on this corner because Jen's trying to grow it out. It's got very straight hair, so with uh, this sort of um, haircut where obviously they've taken it high before in the previous haircuts, hair just sticks out dead straight. So trying to leave a little bit more weight around the back by the occipital bone. Just means it'll grow out a lot nicer when he uh, gets to the length that he's desired look. Just get the trimmers and just go around the ears and tidy it all up. Yeah, yeah. So I'll do now, get my scissors. Oh, and, just, and then just scissor over comb. Too busy for it. Just blending in these corners. Don't want to take the clippers too high. And then just going up with a comb. And then I tend to just comb down just to see how it naturally sits. Keep looking in the mirror as well. And just follow it up. Just gentle comb down. We'll say with these sort of haircuts where the hair sticks out dead straight when you're uh, scissoring or clippering in the sides, it's always good just to check in the mirror just to make sure there's no nothing that's sticking out too much. Just trying to keep as much weight as we can on the back of the hair. 
just feathering off those corners. Don't want to go too high and take too much weight off that. I still want to keep that little bit of a weight line for the hair to grow back. Just section out the back of the hair, sticks up quite easy. I was going to say, yeah, the back section where your crown is, it's going to be one of those that pings up. It should just take the edges off. He likes sort of the overhanging look, so won't take too much out. Let's just flick through the edges, just to soften those corners up. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you. 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 Yes, thank We want to try grow this back a little bit more. Just drying the hair into the direction that he wants to start growing it, especially with this little bit which obviously he's had cut short before. And just try and blow dry that amongst the rest, give it a bit of volume so it sort of sits in there, disguise it. A little bit of product in the hair as well. I don't usually, but why not today, mate? Yeah, why not? Yeah. 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 Now, on Monday, I'm shaving my mum's hair. Yeah, just following the, uh, the way the hair flows. Like I said, this crown tends to stick up a fair bit. We're just following its natural flow. So we're going to probably take a good good two fingers worth off the front and then you want it to sort of take the edges in and round yeah, it in a little bit, yeah? Try and keep as much length as possible, but yeah. want to get rid of the wispiness. Get rid of all the wispiness, not a problem. Just came it all out, got all the little wispy bits sticking out. Right, so what I'll do then is I'll just go in a little bit short on the edges and then taper it out and then we'll just corner all that in, yeah. Once you've created that shape, then just flick through and just get all the little wispy hairs that come out. I don't want to take too much of the weight off on the corner because he wants to keep as much length as possible. So I just flick through just to start creating a bit more of a shape. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just sculpting down the side. Yeah, right. So the same again on this side, just following it straight down. Got my little finger sticking out for stability, look at that, it's creeping out. Alright, so with this bottom section then, take it to a like, well, see the thickest point is probably, yeah, it's a good, it's a good three. 
but that depends how much length you want to we'll go, Should we go to two and see what happens, and then we'll take the third off? Well, okay, well, well yeah, I can do it to obviously just about here. Yeah. And then obviously, if you're happy with that, we can obviously it's down to yourself. But if not, obviously, we can always just sort of blemish that in just to get get yeah, the third thing. Two, we, go, we, we go two, so, and then we go for the three. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the shocker. <laughs> the shocker, yeah. That's right, so what it is. Just get the clippers and start just working my way in. And what you say, just one round. Like, yeah, yeah. What can I just do one round? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Start curving that corner in. Just look from the side angle. I'm so hungry. Yeah. From about the jawline, I just start to push it in just to bevel that corner in, just to match up with the other side. Yeah, yeah. Same so again with the heel of it, just go down the sides. Oh, we just flop get those corners out as well. Alright, so we're going to go for the plummet and just take it off to the shortest point, so about another thing as well. What I do is I just go in straight. Go in straight. Go in straight, mate. Straight feet, mate. Okay, guess what? 2 a.m. 40 minutes left, mate, John. 2 a.m., mate. It always looks a lot fuller once you get rid of all that straggliness. Especially when you put a bit of balm in there and give it that like shape, curl it up a little bit. Do you like your cheeks lined up or do you like a more natural? Uh, yeah, if you line up. Line up? Yeah, do it home, mate. Same again with the heel of it, just flick through some of the hairs. It gives it more of a natural look rather than too solid. Bit of balm of that in the beard as well. Yeah, thank you. Use the Tree Ranger styling balm. Yes. Rub your hands so it's nice and warm. Just really get it in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna grow the tash out? Yeah, keep it growing out. Happy then? Yeah, cheers mate. Oh, nice. Good. Get good re I'll do you get good reviews. <laughs> yeah. Beard brand. Uh, my name's Charlie Hubble. I'm in Jams and Rogues Club. About to get my hair cut by Josh Yarn. Alright, so what are we doing then? Skin fade. Yeah, man. Side part. Yeah, can I, um, I'll be, I'll be my can I get a mid skin fade and then, like, what I like to do is, like, have a, a part a in around fade. here and then kind of slick these apart. So this will be some weight 
Yeah, and they get the pompadour on top. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no worries. Yeah. yeah, so what I do is just wet the hair down, and then he obviously wants a side part, so what I do is use the tooth of my comb just to brum through the hair, and you can sort of like define where you want to sort of go with it. It's only rough just for the time being, so I can clip of the sides. Yeah, you happy with like where the side part is, yeah? Yeah, buddy. Yeah, like that. So, so I can just slick that back. And yeah. So this is pretty much what we're going for now. Like, this is almost the finished look. Just literally now clipper in the sides, bring it nice and tight, get rid of a little bit of the weight on the sides here. Then you've obviously got everything else flowing across. So yeah, pretty much what I do is just go in with the zero, do it to that temple height, and just pretty much just bring a baseline all the way around. Also, bring it all the way into the middle and then go straight onto the other side. Do exactly the same again on the other side. Some people like to go all the way around the head, but I always find it's a bit easier to do one side first and match it up in the middle. I always find sometimes I'm a bit like a bit higher up on one side, so it's easier to adjust than it is to just like guess and go all the way around. These are a good little investment as well. It's actually a, uh, a clipper brush to clean the clipper for the hairs and stuff. But I always find when you do like skin fades or just short, short haircuts, the hair seems to stick to the head a lot. So with a little brush like this, instead of using your comb, this is a lot softer and it just gets rid of the hair so much more easier. And I've just found it helps when you're doing fades just to get rid of all that excess hair. So it just builds up on the head. But sometimes you could literally be trying to fade a section for a while, thinking, why is the, uh, why is this, like, this, the hair colour not changing? But obviously it's just clumped up hair. As soon as you wipe it, it's gone. And what I do as well, where I've done the zero with the clippers, these are a lot, little bit shorter. So I go in flat with the... Uh, with these to get rid of that hair then on that last bit just flick it out just so it doesn't create any more straight lines in the hair so it starts to just blend it away naturally so obviously if i go dead in it just creates lines so by just flicking that last bit out it just starts to blend that hair away so for me i like to put in my zero line then work my way down especially with this style haircut we're going to go like with a foil so it's going to be real tight then once i've done all my zero so i know that's literally faded all the way up then i'll work my way upwards same again like the other clippers just go in and then flick that last bit out just to start that little blend process because with the foils if you go in a little bit too hard you can easily create a deep like a, a line in the hair it shows up quite easily when it's uh, foils against normal hair I found a good technique with these as well, rather than just constantly going up, I always go up and then I just go sideways to like buffer it out a little bit. So I find going sideways, it doesn't pick up every single hair, so you get like a little bit more of a blend with these. So now that I'm happy with my baseline, what I do is go in with a two, just to clear this weight away. Same again, going in and then flicking that last section out. Creates like a little faint line. Nothing that's too difficult to get out. But what this does for me is I go in with the two just so it clears it all away. And then now I can see that this is now what I need to fade with the clippers. The rest will be scissor work. Because otherwise you don't want to take it too high with the clippers. And then intrude into what actually the, the part of the scissor that you need to do. And as well, especially here, we like to, uh, with these classic cuts, leave, like to leave a lot of weight around this bottom section. I mean, some, some places and people prefer their hair to be clippered quite high, but with this sort of style, it wouldn't look right if we took it too high. So going for the classic look, we keep a lot of the weight down by the occipital bone. I always got taught to either do the fade below the bone 
or if you want to go a little bit higher then you've got to go above the bone if you go on it it sort of makes it a little bit difficult to fade out and you'll always look like there's a faint line because where the where the head sticks out that extra bit sometimes creates a bit of a shadow on the hair so same again you could be trying to fade it for a while and it's not going to change because it's just the way the, the head sort of protrudes Sometimes, depending on uh, how I feel or the type of haircut I do, I sometimes change my way of fading just to obviously suit the customer that I'm doing. Usually I say I go for the zero first, clear it with a two, then work my way up. And then normally at the end, if I obviously have a quick little look around the head and I can see there's a few little patches that I think could probably do with a little bit more touching up, then obviously I'll tend to them. So yeah, after going through with the one and the one and a half, as I can see that there's a half line all the way around the head. So I just do that now. Just push the hair where it wants to go, put it onto the half. And then literally just with the teeth, just feather through ever so slightly. I don't want to go in too flat because I don't want to create any more lines. I literally just want to make it look like it's just blending that last little line in. You'll find as well, with pretty much everyone's haircut really, with skin fades, the front section seems to fade a hell of a lot nicer than the back because you don't seem to have a, as much hair as you do right at the back of the head. So this front section always looks good, so you can do that in a couple of seconds. Then round here is like, the main back section is where you want to focus on. It's always good just to have a clean station as well, being the person, just clean them down. No excess hair anywhere. Now that I've done the sides and obviously this section here needs to be scissored in. We'll probably leave a lot of the length on the top because Charlie likes to obviously have it slick back. You don't want to go too short otherwise it. Charlie loves to slick mate, he loves it. He does. He likes it long. <laughs> I mean he's got, there's a lot of girth to his head as well. <laughs> But yeah, so yeah, comb, comb it into the style I want to go for. So I know now looking in the mirror, like that's what I want to go for. All I need to know now is literally just to take this little section out here, just comb it down, just pull it around. So now I know literally this can go in. And with a slip back haircut, I don't want to cut too much out because when I comb it back, it will sort of like feather its way in. So just pull your ear down, scissor over comb. Just ever so slightly, just yeah. flick through those bits of hair. So with his sort of style, what I tend to do is leave a lot of weight on this section here. So obviously when you comb it over, it's going to overhang. But for the time being, when he styles it back, that's the look you're going for. But then sometimes he'll have it forward, so you need the length to push forward. I tend to do it with most clients. I always say to them, obviously, what style are they after today? Then I'm like, on a day-to-day -day basis, what do you do with it? And if they say, oh, I'll just let it go messy, then you've got to sort of uh, cut it to suit both styles, really. It's a lot of weight to the top section, so what I do is just pull it out. What this is, is just chip into it a little bit. Because I will take a little bit of weight out of it with the thinning scissors as well. Yeah, you can just sort of see the line, just follow it down. Slightly, just take a little bit out there. So when you brush it back, it goes quite high first, and then you obviously bring that section around so it's a lot flatter to the head. So obviously, like I said before, when he styles his hair differently, he'll bring that stuff forward. So if I cut that too tight to the head, I've sort of given him a side part in, whereas with this, set, with this style now, if you brush it all back for the slick back, which sometimes he likes to wear, it will blend in. You won't instantly know he's had a side part in and he's tried to change the style. So what I'm doing with the top, with some haircuts I normally go straight through, put like a baseline through the middle. Take a little bit out, but with this same again, he's obviously always change it. So with that top section, he wants to grow it a little bit more, but that's just like dead weight. So literally just with the scissors, just point cut into it. Just gets rid of that little bit of dead hair. They always say it's good to encourage hair growth just by snipping off the ends. So nothing too blunt. I don't ever go in to go for the blunt cut. I just go for the chipping in, the point cutting. Same again, just pull it across sideways, like cross check. Little bits that you missed. And then with this section, pull it out. And where I'm trying to keep a lot of that weight, it's still obviously got that like dead weight, so same again. 
just chip into it. And you can see obviously there's a little bit there, so try not to cut your finger while you do it as well. So yeah, what we'll do now is just get the uh, thinners and then pretty much do what I did with the scissors, just flick through the haircut again, not taking too much out, but while I do, rather than going in straight, I just like to feather through the sections. Just keep combing it and you can sort of see where the weight is. And same again, just flick through it. She likes it. She likes it, we better do it. So what I'm pretty much doing with this sitting now is just going through the hair and not fully closing the scissors, but enough just to take some of it. And gradually as you work through it, you can see obviously building up on the scissors. So what I'm doing with the, with the hair dry now is just grab the front section up, roll it back a little bit. Just creates that volume. And like I said, with this side with all that weight on it, just by blow drying it up, just saving that weight, but still creating the shape of the haircut. So before I put any product in it, just style it how I want it. <laughs> so I'm just using the uh in the rest of Park Studio really ugly me, but in here. Right. Just using the tea tree strong, sea salt spray. Strong, strong sit, yeah, I've got smells oh, I love the smell of it. <laughs> Minty fresh. So what I do with this section here, just a little bit of a twist. With a comb, just twist yeah. it and just drag it back. Just creates a little bit of a different look rather than just combing all the hair down. You get that slight wolverine look to him. Uh, duck feather look. That's literally it. Yeah, <laughs> so what I do now is just go around the haircut, just tidying up all the hairline, getting rid of all those extra hairs, and Charlie obviously just growing his first uh, little hair oh, there. No, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa! We gotta film that thing. No, 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 that's a sweet haircut, man. Cheers, bro. That's a nice haircut, mate. It is an Amigo. Yeah. That is from one Amigo to another Amigo. Careful, ladies. Right, anyway, you're happy? I am. So we're pretty happy, my Amigos. Pretty happy. Stop with the Amigos. <laughs>
So yeah, just flicking that last little bit up into the two. Now just going through my point five, just blending that last little line in. Oh, blade run on you, good. So I'm doing now just blending in that clipper to the scissors on the top, just using scissor over comb. And a lot of people as well, when they um, style it, they'll always find that the crown sticks up loads if you cut it too short. So we tend to leave it on the occipital bone, just so it matches up. What I'm doing now is just putting my uh, guideline through there. And we're going to graduate it from the crown upwards. I'll keep you on the top. Go on, do it. Just following the guideline that was there. Tend to leave haircuts like this a little bit more square on the edges rather than taking them in, you want them a little bit more on the point. So I'm doing here is just point cutting. I was going after with my razor to create a bit more texture. What I'm doing as well, going straight with a comb, keeping it square. Just flicking through the fingers just to get some of that extra weight out. Ever so slightly. With these sort of haircuts, you want them nice and textured as well. Have you ever used the um, texturizer and powder to style your hair? Yeah, the stuff that you root lift sort of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Never so slow with the razor, just go through it. This creates texture as well. Making sure I don't go too close to the root. Okay, cool. It's literally just on the ends. So with the beard then what we're going to do with that, just take a bit of length of the beard and that, and then obviously we'll do the hair and stuff after this. So yeah, just combing all the beard out, get all the knots in that out, make it look like Grizzly Adams. We had this conversation the other day, like saying about obviously uh, the Americans and that, saying oh like the fades are too tight together or they're too like, they're not blended enough and I was like looking at their haircuts thinking yeah but a lot of them tend to take it quite high and then you've got a massive area to fade so it can look a lot sharper when the fades like that big in it whereas if you done that yeah you go to that yeah no it's good though when you get a customer coming in especially like yourself who's obviously in the industry as well obviously you know what they want and they know what's good if you know what i mean but whereas people come in and go i want this i want it shaved up here i want half my fringe gone i want the line put in and you're like mate we just don't do that like that's yeah it's not going to look good and they're like, oh no, well my friend's got it, and or like Christian O'Dowd has got it. He hasn't got curly afro. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. Well that's it, that's what I mean, if it right. suits that hairstyle, yeah. it suits it, like. And as well, I think people like to say, oh I get my hair cut here, or I get my hair cut there, as if it's like sort of a big deal. Look at those people with a bit of extra cash. They're just well, yeah. <laughs> for the sake of walking in someone. Yeah, if they went class, somewhere, yeah. Their class was nice, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And their class is nice just for the name, not because of who it is. No. And if they say, oh, my haircut costs 50 quid, but yours only costs 20, it makes them feel better, even though they've spent more for yeah. the same thing. You know what I mean? Um, Do you get that, what we get a lot, where people come in and go, oh, oh 17, yeah. 18 quid, or well, 10 are down the road. So, oh. Yeah, and we're like, go down the road. Then. Yeah, but it's like, you're not paying just for the haircut, you're paying for the service, you're paying for the skill. Like, what I'm doing now is just literally, as a gent likes, just tapering in the sideburns rather than doing like the points or anything like that.
which is lovely. <laughs> it's been nice because it's been so crazy busy. Yeah. It's been nice to actually have a bit of sort of time for this. As we say, just yeah. finger the hair, dry it out. What are we going to do, Timothy? Um, two and then with the powder, just pull yeah, the hair back, just get it on the root. Same old, same old. The thing is, Craig is back, so no one wants to come here anymore. No, yeah, as soon as I know Craig's back. And now Craig's back, no one wants to come in. It's almost like no one I did get asked by one kid, though, are you putting dandruff in my hair? (laughs) Yeah, we had it all the time. Of course, mate, it's a new look, mate. You want that dandy look. Then through my fingers, yeah, just sort of scrunching it up, working with the powder that I put in there. So there you go, brother. Just taking it down, taping it in. Obviously, left that weight around the back here. So I'm getting on that so you can see past the camera. I've only been getting my hair cut by Josh for three years and that gentleman's and Rose club like always. So pretty much what we're doing with Ollie today right, is uh, Thank you. kind of like an executive contour but real tight so shaving the part in line, going for a real high fade just on an angle here, dipping it down to the occipital bone and then just bringing it back up on the other side and then just about fingers length or just over on top. Uh, just over his fingers length on top. <laughs> like Ollie said, he comes in here near enough every other 10, like 10 days. So same again, just going with a zero, go with the baseline. This is all down to personal preference before people say that I've done the line too on an angle. Some people like it straight, Ollie prefers it. Higher from the front and then dipping down at the back. Always trust your barber. But let's say with uh, all my haircuts, I always start with one side and then meet up in the back rather than trying to follow that line all the way around. Just tidy up that line and then everything below it is just coming off. You always pull the skin as well just to get a bit more of a tighter cut. <laughs> Uh, put five on the side. Put four on top again. Yeah. Get my foils. What yeah. 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 I tend to do is push quite hard on the bottom of the neck. And as I get to the top, just get a bit more of a flick. Like I said in some of the other videos, when you do like certain fades, I always either go below the occipital bone or if I'm going above it, I go actually above it. If you try to do it on the actual bone itself, sometimes hard to create a fade because where the bone sticks out, sometimes creates a bit more of a light and it looks a bit shallow. So the fade always looks a bit dodgy around the back. So I always go quite high. And like I said, Ollie's preference is to take it high. And then when I get my foils to where I want them to be, I just turn them sideways and just flick through the sides. And that way it just catches a couple of the hairs and starts blending that out. I have a little trick as well when I do like the foils and stuff. If I'm clearing weight, I tend to pull it up. But with this, when you pull it up, it changes the line that I've obviously created. So I tend to just pull down from the bottom. It still keeps the skin nice and tight. It stops that line from moving. Just flip through that little line. You just say cozy. This again pretty much builds my uh, guidelines. So I can obviously see there's a line there, there's a line here as well. And then just with my zero, just go on the edges here. I know with my andis they don't go as short as my lithiums that I've got. So what I tend to do is just flick through with the zero. And I use my Oster 606s, which are uh, bin zero gaps, or they're a little bit shorter. Like, 
what I'm doing here is just building up my uh, guide lines so I can see the really faint lines in between each grade but going afterwards just to clear all them out. So yeah, just breaking it down with a one. The one and a half, just to flick up that edge. What's that awesome powers, Jake? We're going to suck it to me, baby. Suck it to me. <laughs> Ooh, sick you, sick you. <laughs> sick you. Here, I'm doing this 23, man. Literally just flick through that bottom section. Right. Break down, didn't it? Break down? Yeah, break down. Just getting towed away. <laughs> hey. That is awful. <laughs> Good thing with these osses, they open to about a one, so you can uh, literally just I use them as like tapering clippers to be honest, because you can just slowly graduate the guard. I'm on the tight side of the comb. I, go, I don't tend to go in straight, I tend to just get a bit of a circular motion, just to flick some of those hairs out. Did you just get towed away, Craig? No, just always. He's just looking around the head, finding, <laughs> finding areas which I could probably use a little bit more on. Because Ollie's hair is quite short, this sort of style I can't, I don't tend to put like my guideline through the middle, I just sort of go through with my fingers, go through straight. And then once I finish this, so yeah, now that I've gone straight, what I do is I go sideways, and I can see the two bits which obviously I've missed, so just cross-checking, it's a good way to make sure you've got an even cut, and you can see it just goes up and down. That's what I'm doing now. Just comb his fringe down. Black, black mirror, barber, and black male barber. So I'll do is comb his fringe down now. Just chip into it. Just comb all across. And for the parting. Put your comb in. Ollie likes a bit of a thick parting as well, so I just comb in, push it so it's nice and tight. Literally just push in slightly with a back and forth motion just to create that line. See, Ollie comes in quite often, so the line never really grows too long, so you can always see where it needs to be cut. When it comes to the side part, and it's always good to obviously ask the customer how they prefer it. Some like short, shorter ones, some like them when they're a little bit thicker, a little bit longer, about seven. What I tend to do is get a bit of elegance gel, and just put it through the middle and then uh, razor it off. Helps the blade just slide across the skin easier. Stops it from getting too irritated as well. The same again, just make sure the skin's nice and tight. Ever so slightly. What? I oh, thought it's free there. You haven't got any weight tricks? No. So he's tidy up the hair, and always going to grow his beard a little bit, so what we do is just literally line it up just on the corners here. When they're all blessed with godlike beers like Carlos. That's one sexy beard. <laughs> just tidy up all the neck hairs. Yeah, I'm just getting all those little hairs still. Trim them down so the foils can pick them up.
but it doesn't want any product in it so what we'll do is just wet it out just so it's sort of give it a little bit of style and just to find the part in and there we have it you happy bro yeah boy as always show you it just so you can see the back of your head if you haven't seen it in 10 days so Alright, man. Hi, my name's Adi. I'm coming today for a bit of a fade on the sides. All of the people in the Kylie up the top and a nice beard trim. Taking sides, a bit more shape. All right. How short are we going on the sides? Uh, probably skin or just off, like point. Yeah. Point five. Point five. Yeah. Having someone's complained to YouTube about our video as well, because YouTube wouldn't have not noticed that otherwise. So we're going to do is wetting down the hair first, as always. Just comb it into this, the shape that he normally wears it. It sounded awful, and it was just just mainly crying and laughing in the background, and it got it got uh, asked to be pulled down because of copyright. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's quite hot on it. Yeah. Yeah, just going in with a 0.5. <laughs> just getting rid of all the other excess hair. So I'm just going for the grade one. We follow the same shape as I just did. Yeah. And they said it was literally like um, like a reboot on a computer. Yeah. Um, a genuine clear out of crap and yeah. It was um, fascinating. All again, the lines were being cleaned and stuff like that. Yeah. Really, yeah. What was it called? The last thing. The last shamer. It's called. I'm gonna go one and a half. Oh, yeah. and just keep flicking it out, softening up the line that you created. Well, they reckon that because obviously Pablo Escobar was massively into buying. Just go two and a half just on the edge. And the, uh, Flicking that bit the through. There, there's still two hippos in the lake because no one would buy them. So it's just left them in the lake. So this land's got with lake, it's lake there. And there's two hippos in, in, on the land. And, it's, and then just for this little bit here, just flick with a one and a half. But what a cool place to go. It's, uh, it was costing $60. And you get lunch and you get you get all day there. Stop. It's not bad, is it? You can come away from there going, I got shot at <laughs> 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 the whole day shooting. Yeah. What if I what if I'm So what I'm doing now is just tidy up all the edges. There That's are those, There are ones, aren't there, with unknown artists singing the song. Yeah, like 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 happy, cover up. Like happy cover birthday. up. Happy birthday, isn't it? I think. Go on then, Darren. Happy birthday gets taken off of YouTube. Yeah. Someone's got the lights down then. Just uh, yeah, scissor over comb in the back section and just to um, take a little bit more of the length out to fade it in rather than taking it in with the clippers. The scissors creates a little bit more um, of a different uh, effect to the hair. And you like to leave a little bit more around the section anyway. Oh, 
30, how much are we taking off the top then? Uh, tidy it up, yeah. Can you cut them um, cotton as well? Please? Yeah. Mine. Yeah, not too much. Yeah, have you got Netflix? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Brilliant. No worries. It's really good. What's that about? So it's based in the center. We're not going to take too much off the top. And it's a shave the part in as well. And a slightly older guy. And um, it's about psychological profiling. Literally First just tidying up the ends. He's using psychological profiling. He's, um, his original job was. Um, so all I'm doing is just chipping into the top, not taking too much of the length out, just tidying up of the frayed edges. Have a little look around the head, take a little bit of the weight where need be. Funny yeah, it's just the way the hairline grows. Everyone gets like little weird bits where it doesn't want to go which way you put it. And you shave the line in, yeah? Parting line? Yeah, please, yeah. You ever so slightly just go back and forth. Yeah, really deep, man. It's really, it's quite a long documentary, but it's worth it's worth watching. It's all. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. It's good, mate. It's all. Mm -hmm. Is it pretty? Oh, yes, yeah, it's all. It's all worth it. And then just keep going back and forth until we get the desired width. <laughs> Definitely not. I like to dry the hair, um, especially before taking any weight out of the sides, so you can see which way it would naturally sit. So all I'm doing now is just flicking through the thinners, just taking out just a little bit of weight line. I might run across there and ask them. Yeah. Oh, you noticed that today? Well, they, they stripped it all out yesterday. Oh, so oh, that's why. <laughs> all right, so with the beard, then, what are we doing? Just giving it a tidy up? Yeah, leaving the length? Yeah, just take yeah, the sides take the side out. Side down. Um, yeah, could be a good tidy up. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Keep the length in the bottom, yeah? Yeah, keep, yeah. Um, yeah just want to take just a bit off the ends, just to... So what we're going to do now is literally just taking all these edges, take all the weight out of it. I'm not taking too much off the bottom, I'm just going to, where I've lined it in, just follow it round. Yeah. Just look down from the top of the beard as well, yeah, you, and just you, flick all the wispy edges that stick out. Would you like lining your cheeks as well, dear? Uh, Keep them until one, yeah?
Get a room, you two. Yeah. <laughs> Learning about Tasha's. Doesn't last that long, does it, mate? No. <laughs> I'm already done. He's already done. Here, mate. Oh. Yeah, just follow it into a point. You know what that is, don't you? I don't know. Yeah, just I literally go around and just trim yeah. any of the uh, like the loose hairs that you can see. And Do you want some beard balm and that in yeah, there? Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Do you use the tree ranger? Rub it in your hands to make it nice and warm. You used bombs in that home, didn't you? Yeah. So you need to keep watching it. Yeah. It's like the weather, that's what I did as well. It's always changing though, forever changing. It's got a funny colour out there, isn't it? Like, it's on the overcast. It's the apocalypse, mate. Did you see yesterday? Yeah. Yeah, bro. I went. So, yes, yeah, so you're going to Hampshire, you went. Thank you very much. Yeah, shaved in that top line as well. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, yeah, mate. Don't worry. Thank you. Oh, wait. Yeah, no worries. Oh, wait, because you know this. Always happy. I'm here at Gentleman on the Road getting my bed cut by Josh. So, pretty much just comb hey it all out. <laughs> the gent wants to lose a lot of the length on the front and all that weight that sticks out on the sides. So, what we do, just cut that in, just taking that in nice and short, and then graduate that long, and then just take some of the wispy bits off the end so it looks a little bit more fuller. Probably going to go for about there, you'd say, yeah? Yeah, that's good. So, obviously, where you can see you've got like the darkness in here, and then all this is just like the loose hair. So, by trimming all of this in and bringing it there, make the beard look a lot fuller. So with my clippers, what I'm doing is just going down the side of the beard. And sort of creating that shape that I want to go for. Have you watched it yet? Try not to take too much off, or you can see all the little wispy bits that stick out. Just get rid of them. Then what I do is I like to create the shape that I'm going for in the end, but leave it a little bit longer, so then when you comb it down, you've still got the shape to it, because if you cut too far in and comb it down, when you comb it, it's going to be too tight to the face. And then same again on the side, just all those little curly bits that stick out, just creating that shape around the ear. And what I do is just with that section, just over direct it. Just let it flow freely, rather than if you hold it too tight, take it out, take sections out of here. So just comb it and whatever hair sticks out naturally, just clip them out. The best way I find doing this is standing in front of the client and then just looking directly at him and you can sort of obviously don't stare into his eyes because that's a little bit weird. <laughs> so just by looking down the side, I can see the shape that I want to create. Because from doing it from doing it this way, you can't always obviously see how far you're pushing in. So yeah, just literally just feather through that, just clipping those little bits on the edge. And from the bottom, just comb down the neck. You can see all the long bits at the bottom, so we're taking a fair, probably about taking an inch off around the side, so just comb those bottom sections out, angle the comb down rather than doing square, angle it down and then just take those last few hairs off. Obviously like some people this gent's beard is quite fine, so some beards when you cut them they instantly create the shape, whereas this you sort of got to like with a bit of uh, oil and stuff you can um, a bit of balm you can create the shape that you're going for in the end with a little bit more balm it just creates that definition towards it so what i like to do same on the side just from the front angle just put like a little baseline in just so i can sort of just see so i just 
literally just put my clipper through. I can see there's a little notch in there, just on the front. Don't push too far into the back of the beard, because obviously on this angle I'm going to be pushing down, whereas the beard wants to be going up. So just from the front section, just so I know where to follow it up. So this gem prefers more of a softer curved look rather than that box look. So all I'm doing here is just putting that square line at the bottom, checking underneath that I haven't gone too far. When people have got thick beers, this is a hell of a lot easier because it just instantly creates the shape and you can just literally sculpt it. It just takes a little bit more work just to get all those little hairs that come down that you've missed. So what I'm doing now, where I've got, I know I've got this little section here I've taken out. These two bits here have got to go, so this corner I'm literally just going to just free, freestyle it, just go in with it. So what I'm doing at the front, just from that front side, you can just see all the hairs that just stick out. Same as the side, get on the angle and you can see every hair that sticks out and just, as I said before, just feather away at it, not too blunt, just literally just flick them away. I tend to go in with scissors just at the end, just so it's not too harsh. But I find with the clippers it just evenly takes hair a lot quicker than it does with the scissors. What I tend to do with most beards as well is uh, obviously whether they're wispy or if they're thick or not, create all the shape that I want to do in the front but then on that throat area obviously line it up. But I tend to put my comb in quite far in and I'll take a lot of that out so when the beard actually sits straight and he's got it there's just not a lot of hair all clumped up in their throat. A lot of people as well, when they grow their beers, they say a lot of the bulk comes on this section at the top as well. So that's why when combing it out and cutting it down, when you comb this section down, it's not as long, so it's only short here. And then the longer bits are more than you want the weight around the bottom of the jaw, rather than having that all puffing out the side. And what I do is just slowly bring that down and then on the section, just start just feathering those corners in. What I'm pretty much doing now is making my keeping my comb like a level, so I know obviously every time I take it out, just keep it square to the face. And try and get that as even as I can. Yeah. Check his hairs that just stick out. So now I just run my fingers through, just get all those wispy hairs out. Obviously, gets caught up inside the beard. So now by pushing the hands down, see before it was all sticking out, you just with that, just brushing it in, and you can see already it's starting to create that shape. Obviously, take a little bit more off the bottom here to tidy it up. Obviously, when this shape, when Jen wakes up in the morning, obviously it takes a comb, just comb it out, and then you obviously put the balm in there to shape it yourself because obviously it's never going to sit exactly how it did the day before. But it's good just to get that baseline in and tidy it all up and now know when you're pushing it in literally just to tidy all this section up here now all these little wispy bits and then uh, do you prefer having your cheeks lined in as well or would you like them natural uh yeah i prefer them a bit more natural bit, yeah. bit more natural so what we do is we just get rid of some of the little hairs which are on the cheek but some people prefer the nice sharp line other people like to have that natural look so we just flick through just get rid of some of them and with your sideburn bits you like them faded in or would you like them pointed so we have them faded and then with the tash, we're leaving the length on the tash, we're literally just going to tidy that top section there so it's not catching food. What we do now is just literally that last little back section, and just comb it down. And then obviously just take it to the throat. Same so again, just go on the side and just try and match it up to the other corner. Pretty much just go flat. With a beard like this, I say again, like you can never 
never get every single hair to fit in that shape that you're going for. You now got that nice little bit of less hair bulked on this corner here, so you just bring the beard down on the side. So you create like a shape down here and it clears all the neck. So that from the side you've got nothing, nothing too heavy underneath here, but all the lengths in the front. So you can already see from the front now, it looks a little bit more darker than it did obviously with all the corners, but like I said, you're, you're never going to get rid of everything. We're just doing that with the tash. He wants to keep the length in it, because obviously you can see it's quite long down here. So what we're doing is literally just with the corner of the comb, just comb that section away. And you can see how he has it shortened a little bit in that middle section. So we're going to keep the length here. Some people like don't mind using the clippers, but I sometimes just prefer with a scissor because you know where it's going. Just put it on the back of the lip. And then just literally just take that last little bit off on the end. And we just do a little bit of point cutting just to sort of thin that bottom layer out. The good thing we're using scissors on a tash as well. I know resting the scissors on the beard here, it's not going to cut anything because it's only literally cutting that little section there. So I haven't got to worry too much about snipping too much more beard off. So what I do now is just with the corner of the clipper, just literally just flick away those few hairs that are a little bit higher up on the cheek rather than going in and just creating a solid line just flick away some of them and then just clear what's left just creates more of a natural look and then with the sideburns just get the comb as I do is I put it against the head and I tilt it out and just clip it down just do a couple of goes just so you don't take too much away the sideburns always a uh, personal preference for the client. Some people like to sharpen up into a point, but where he's going for the more of the uh, the natural cheeks, I sort of recommend going for the uh, faded in sideburns so it fades in. Obviously, this gentleman's uh, blessed with a beard, but not so much hair on top. So uh, just fade fade their hair in. So we're using the tea tree one. It's the same as most bombs, just use a thumbnail's worth. <laughs> Rub it into your hands so it's nice and warm. And then just work it into the beard. Same as hairs really, just really uh, run it in there so it's right on the bottom and stuff. Just mess it all up. Same as hair products on the top, if you just literally go straight in with the hair, it's got nothing underneath. So it looked good for about five, ten minutes, and as soon as you walk out of the shop, it obviously never sits how it was. So at least with this, just really get it in there. And as well, you see, doing this pulls out all the hairs which are still stuck inside the beard, which you can't quite get. Gentleman in Rose Club. Yeah, Gentleman in Rose Club. Yeah, yeah my haircut. Got that. Bye. Josh. Nobody knows my name, mate. No one knows your name. Alright, so what are we doing then? Uh, low skin fade on the sides. Um, just thin the top out as much as possible. And have it like sort of flick to the side like that. Yeah, any length off the top? Um, just a little bit. Just want it a bit more tame. Just wet the hair out because he's got some mental hair. So yeah, just comb all the hair out. Get it into the sort of style that you want to be cutting it into. Then with a t little tooth for the comb. Yeah, 
What I'm going to do is go in with the two first just to clear all this weight out. So just following the uh, normal guideline that you do around the side of the head. Because this, uh, this Tom's left it um, quite a while before he got your last haircut to take it. Long overdue. Long overdue. Isaac will be in a minute, mate. I've said Isaac down. For what? For avocado and toast. I've got Isaac now. I need a food. Isaac? Oh, you're military style, and you got to fold it and all that. I, 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 it's just one square, not enough. Just right, so now just going in with the zero. <laughs> you salt bay <bands. laughs> Because we're going low, I'm not going to take it to the 10 point to get just in line with the ear. And dip it quite low around the back. Right, and now I've got the shape around the back of the head. Just stand behind it and just a little bit more on this side. So now I'm going for the one and a half. Tom's hair is quite fair, so you can get away with. Um, Sort of like guard skipping without having to go for like the 0 0.5, 0 0.75, etc. So, all I've done is a zero, and I'm doing a one and a half, but my half will probably blend that in. So, how's work been in that? It was busy last night. Yeah, working like a horse, trying to go for a promotion. So. Or people riding you. Yeah. So what I tend to do some as previous haircuts is, especially with a low fade as well, I tend to go in more of an angle rather than going up straight. Right, so now I go for my 0.5. The same again with the teeth, just flick it up. Take these up. Like I said last time, just a finger's width up. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now what I'm going to do is just scissor in this beautiful wedge. So just scissor over combing this in. Mm. 
So I'm going to just carry on around the head, just roughly just getting away this weight. So then when I trim the top, what we're going to do is comb out all that and cut it anyway. Just gives me a guide to follow. So we're going to keep the curls on the top, are we? Just sort of like trim that off. Yeah. So just comb the hair to the side. And keep it square, and then you just trim all the excess off. I love those barber videos where they like zoom in and out of the face while you're cutting it. it makes you a little bit dizzy. Best videos ever. It is, mate. You can't see what they're doing, but the video's mad crazy. Chucking some fires emojis and that in there as well. Doug Life glasses. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's it. I would play. I would. I would play the Fug Love song, but I'm not, I'm not allowed, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Copyright and all that. Just sing it in your head. So all I'm doing here is just going through the uh, side of the head, just on an angle. So just follow this around the head. To be fair, I'm surprised your hair hasn't broken my comb. Someone's broken someone's scissors before. Folded it in the hair. So what I'm doing is just flicking through the front of the hair, and when I get it, just slide it out. Let's put a little bit of product in the hair. Tree Ranger. I'm, I'm giving it. A go, I'm giving it a go, mate. You watch this. Done? Yes, mate. Happy? Yeah, I love it. Yeah, that, you didn't have to make it. Yeah, just doing it on the side. It's pretty nice and low. Yeah. Hi, my name's Phil. I'm at Gentleman and Rose Club on Ashley Road. I'm getting my hair cut by Josh. First mistake. <laughs> right, what can you do, buddy? Um, just tight at the sides, sort of like uh, two. Two on the side, yeah. Uh, um, 
I like the long hair, so I like to sweep it all back. Sweep it all back, so yeah. Just a little bit off, he's getting a little bit yeah. stuck in the curtains like from the 90s. And um, then with the beard, just, I don't want to lose too much here. Mm -hmm. It's not bad, but just sort of maybe a bit tighter in here. Keep the cheeks in. Yeah, keep the cheeks and in. And tidy up the neck. And then just tidy the lines up. Not a problem. Such a flirt, aren't you? <laughs> there are two on the side then, yeah? Yeah, please. So I'm just going to take my two up to the temple and follow it around. I was just doing a two and a half just to start the little blend up. She did, yeah. <laughs> She's going for the grade three now. So I'm pretty much just putting in all like my guidelines with like the clipper guards and then I go over it with the scissors just to blend it all in. Just starts to soften it up. Because a haircut like this, we obviously class it as a blend rather than more the traditional, I say, fades and things, because with a grade two, you're only blending the hair in, there's nothing too much to fade besides tapering in the neckline. But something like this, like the gent fur is more of a softer finish. Just start to taper in the neckline. Now just going for the point five, just on the bottom of the neck. So now just following the natural hairline, not cutting into it too much. So because he wears it slip back, I'm not going to take it too much in, just sort of soften up this line, and let the hair just fade in a little bit more. So while I'm doing it, I tend to push the comb in the direction of the way I want the hair to go. So only going to trim the ends off really. Just pull the hair back and you can just see, just follow that line. Now everyone wants to be Thomas Shelby, Will, so I chose to be Solomon. <laughs> Ah, there you go. <laughs> 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 I'm the black character. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everyone dressed up as Harry Potter, so I went as Ron. So <laughs> that's what it is. Everyone wants to be a Shelby, so I just went for the Solomon. <laughs> you a Peaky Blinders fan? I started watching it, but um, I haven't managed to catch up yet. I watched like series one and two, and um, since it's gone on to like BBC two, it's not been able to catch up with it. Not a good enough excuse, mate. So yeah, with the beard then. Yeah. Keep the length in it at the bottom. Yeah, trim the sides yeah. in, and then just give it a yeah, good old spruce right, up. Just, this bit just gets a bit. You end up looking a bit like a farmer after a while. <laughs> 
Yeah, the white 85 year old uh, <laughs> all round entertainer. <laughs> all round entertainer? Oh, he was, mate. I guess he could sing and dance. Yeah, that's it. So just following the shape of the beard, just tidying it up a little bit. So yeah, all I'm doing now is just putting my comb, combing it out and then angling it from the bottom outwards. It just graduates the beard. Charlie kept standing on the rocks. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and then, like, oh, Could you please <laughs> not stand on the rocks? Oh, yeah. Crazy goal. Just put it in a straight line underneath the neck. And then just by looking down at it, you just try and uh, tame all the straggly bits of hair. And then where the hair curls a little bit, just by combing it down, you can see the uh, extra little bits of hair, just the trim off. So that'll only just start sticking out after a few days. This is the first time you've grown the beard out? No, I've had it for a while. But like everyone, you think to yourself, oh, I could probably do this, it's fine. And then you realise you can't cut your own beard, don't be an idiot. Yeah. And then you think, oh, I'll just go to you know, a barber shop down the road. That, oh, tenner, that's cool. And then you realise, no, actually, that doesn't work either. Any off the tash as well? Yeah, a little bit, if that's yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> have a game face on when you do the tash. Huh? I said you got the game face exactly. on when you do the tash. I don't know why they look. <laughs> Gotta look him in the eye. Do you want any uh, more length off? Because what I've done is just literally bring in the sides and where is your beard at the bottom? Yeah. Obviously, they're both coming at different angles. Yeah, so yeah, I'm going to yeah. take too much out of it because you've got a nice bit here, then at the bottom, I can feel it's obviously going to fight against yeah, when you put it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But by pushing it all in, obviously, it looks a lot tidier like that. No, that's perfect. Because I like doing it here, the problem I get yeah. is like you stay down here. Yeah, it will so come, it, especially this side, it will yeah, flix yeah. out as well. So yeah, I trimmed all that in and I just tidy up, tidy up all the rest of the hairs here. But yeah, just by keeping that sort of tidy, you can obviously shave your neck. Yeah. Just follow the line and then yeah just put a bit of oil and that in there and wash it and yeah just keep it keep it sort of um, moist and that Alright, what can I do for them, buddy? Um, so, uh, just go down to a zero on the side, back mm -hmm. sides, and fade it up, and then, yeah, just a little bit off the length on the top. Yep. Just kind of keep it swept over, and then maybe just tidy up the, Just uh, tidy, give it a little bit more shape and that. Yeah. Alright, no worries, man. Just pop your glass off, and we'll get to it. Yeah, so I'm just going to quickly go for a two, and just get rid of the bulk to start with, and then I'll follow up with my, uh, Zero. Have a good event,
As if you believe that, he posted it like a minute ago. <laughs> Yeah, now just uh, following up with a zero now. So now I've done my zero, just going to follow back round the head with the half. So just following the half round, just slowly pushing the fade up. I go for my zero guard. Roman, uh, Chinese for open. So just following Aaron a zero, and they say luckily for me, Chris has got uh, quite fine hair, so it blends in quite nice. So rather than what I normally do is when I comb it and it creates a bit of a blunt line because this is going to be like the top of my blend, just going to flick through it just with the clippers and then I can see my one and a half just below it. Let's go back to my one and a half just to fit that last line out. How's the fog doing this for you? 82 to 18. Yeah. 70, 72 people have voted. I don't think I'll be able to have four with it done in one hit. Have you ever seen Janus? No. They're quite good. Really good. The Vani's feet are swelled up. Just going to gonna scissor over comb. That weight line in. But she also got tattooed that day, all of her back and ear. Would you say, of course, it doesn't mean that not everybody can drive. I look up, right? Yeah, but oh, did you see? Did I send you that video of the, the best drum and bass tune? No. No. Oh, uh, what? I sent it to Charlie, though. Charlie rarely ever looks at his phone when you send him stuff. Because I've tagged him in loads of stuff, which is hilarious. And Mahesh normally replies straight away, but he never sees it. And I'll, be, I'll go downstairs and be like, oh, have you seen that video? He goes, no. He's got his hat, phone in his hand. Yeah. I now officially have the uh, Dalai Lama app on my phone. Of course you do. And uh, I can tell you where he's going to be and where he's not going to be. <laughs> Right, how much you want to take off the top, Jay? Um, so above your eyebrows? Yeah, just to stop it kind of poking in my eyes. Yeah. And it goes down that low. So the section out the fringe. You say about half inch off top then? Uh, yeah. So then just carry on combing it up and then just follow that line that you just put in. So just comb out the fringe again and then to one side you can just follow that line that you've already got. So by pulling it out square, you're not rounding off the haircut too much. 
keep your fingers straight and then just go in like, down with the scissors Just pull it down above the eyebrows. And literally just chip into the edge. Not too severe. Just likes Wendy's, doesn't he? So, do you want to tidy up all the um, just the edges and that, yeah? Yeah. Any wispy bits that's been taken out? Well. Yeah. Anything off Tash? Uh, maybe just above the, uh, along the lip. Yeah. Yeah. It's what I'm doing now. Just combing the beard, make sure there's no knots in there. Puffing it out just a little bit. And then just going backhand, just follow it down. Yeah, just following the shape of the beard, just literally trimming up all the uh, little wispy edges that stick out. And just follow the uh, shape of the uh, of the neck underneath how he likes it. So with the lining up, just follow the the existing line that he's already got there. And it's above the top lip, yeah? Yeah, yeah, if it needs it. The left way, that is not it's excuse, too is bad it? at the moment. Yeah, it's a few tiny little straggly hairs, isn't it? Yeah, I wasn't going to keep myself, but I did keep with the scarf. Do you have to be a jockey teacher? <laughs> Any products in the hair and beard? Um, no, I'll probably put a hat on there. Yeah? yeah just put a hat on and hide all the work I've just done. It's fine. Put my helmet on to cycle anything away. At least it's only spitting at the moment, you're not going to get too wet. Actually, she did come in. Yeah, and obviously here with the beard, just tidied up the sides. She, she always likes it, I think. Getting my hair cut at Gentleman Rose Club by Josh. Sweet! <laughs> yes! Oh, shit. Right, so you're just doing a little low skin face <laughs> for Henry. All I'm just going to do is take my zero. I should feel a lot like me. Yeah. Around this scum that's in our hands. Bounce it off to his level because what we've got is. Limit the weather for Not too short, otherwise it's, it doesn't look good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what we're doing. Yeah, that's exactly what we're doing. Alright, so let's get more 0.5. Oh my god, I just noticed Josh's yeah, nails, mate. Oh yeah, oh he's gonna get Ah, you're gonna get murdered, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care, mate. Good, that's what I like.
Oh yeah, it's Saturday, man. The first comment about my fingers, I post on my Instagram. Right, two, back inside. Every, every guard we just go up is following the same line. Well, but once you know what you're doing, it's like piss a piss. So does he watch the whole entire video and then well, obviously... Yeah, but faster? Yeah. If that makes sense. I've never seen how he works actually, never met, physically met. Meet him in March. I was following the one and a half round, just making sure I've got some of the weight out. Yeah. Would you go to that memory? What's that, sorry? Would you go Amsterdam? Yeah, yeah, I probably yeah. would. I mean, I'm not, I'm not really that fast far out there. Yeah. 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 But, you see, this time, this time yeah. I went, I didn't bother. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. But it's just no, I think it does look nice. Yeah, we will try to get that in the race. I think we'll have heard anyone say that. No. That is very correct. Yeah, you can cut that out. But then, did you go back to my point five just to bend out this little line? Yeah, the first time I went, I saw a motorbike and a cyclist crash into each other, like, literally, like, right in front of me, and bang. I was like, what? Both come off their bike, and then they both crashed into each other. I was like, what? And then 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 because like the roads are massive, you've got like the sidewalk, then you've got the uh, cycle path, then in front of the cycle path's a tram, then you've got the road, and then it's obviously a tram, cycle path, path. Yeah, so it's like, yeah, it's massive. Like, so what I've done now is just switch to my officers, because they're a little bit shorter. Jeez. Just to create a little bit more tighter taper. My officers are a lot better than the uh, the Andes, because I'm zero gaps. So it just gets that, uh, any sort of little line that I can see these are the better ones because they open to a, to a one guard. So I haven't got to worry too much about um, trying to taper out and then intruding into the line that I've already created. So with these I can open it straight to a one and I know that my one guard's around there so I'm going to go too high it won't take too much off. Yeah, that was top of the bit. So what I'm doing now is just with the scissors just to this a little bit here. I'll leave the fringe a little bit longer. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Keeping my fingers yeah. flat to the head. I'm just taking those sides off. Cheers, mate. We're looking for texturizers. Oh, really? Yeah. I've got a rad dad. Hey, we really like them. Why did not call you like Rad Junior? Why didn't you just call So I'm not going in too flat, just sort of going in through and just flicking off the edges. Is Rad Junior's first time back? It's a little bit of style and balm for our kid Henry. See, messy like that looks good. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like you just have, yeah, uh, yeah, a little bit more. Let me see. Turn to me, your face. I like that. Yeah. Oh, nice. yeah. Do you like that? <laughs> Emery's a simple man. He just <laughs> he gets up. Whatever you like, he likes. <laughs> Sweet. Henry? Happy? Yeah, yeah, it was great. Sweet, man. I'm Isaac. This is Charlie. Oh, what's up, Beard Brand? I'm Charlie. This is Mash. Hey, Beard Brand. This is Josh. I'm Josh. We're in Gentleman Road. Matt Top Tom's there. <laughs> Team. Difficult. Team. <laughs> <laughs> Team. <laughs> if that's not an intro, I don't know what is. Card's got no imagination. Right. So, uh, what are we doing with the, the haircut then? We've got a photo, yeah? Yeah, 0.5 faded up, please. Yeah. Sorry about image again? Okay. Sweet. So nice and choppy and messy on top, yeah? I achieved, <laughs> I achieved my own haircut, Carlos. So what we're doing here, just got my osters, opening up to a 0.5 and then just get a little bit of an arc going around the ear. And we'll just follow this all the way around the head, just clear all the uh, hair underneath. Push it down to a zero just to get rid of all the neck hair. <laughs> and just slightly adjust it just to taper the neck in. So now just going for a grade two and then following the same shape. I don't know if Americans get this kind of humor. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think this is, this, this, this is going to have some music over it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> this can't make it to the music. His jacket does all the, uh, Yeah, he just, he doesn't really get sarcasm very well, apparently. Don't you, Jack? <laughs> so I'm just going for a two and a half just to flick that last little bit out. I'm using dollars, but they're not like, they're like pounds, but they've got like a different symbol. It's like an S with lines through it. Got a pound sign. So what I'm doing is literally with my zero guard just slowly extending the lever. Should I do, should I do well then? No, I reckon what you should do is you should just mix your accent like a good three times whilst talking to somebody like, I'm really not catching on this. We'll do is just taper in the side burn into the beard as well so it blends in. It's funny that guy said it back as well, he was exactly the same. Yeah, and even he realised. Yours is better than his. He was well watched. The Welsh guy's actually the worst guy. Oh, he's a power electric. Oh, yeah, he was in it, yeah. Every time he comes in I feel obliged to talk to him in his naked tone. Yeah. Well, he doesn't really have a very strong girl shark, does he? I think he does. Oh, yeah, definitely does. Um, What's happened to your eyebrows, anyway? <laughs> <laughs> no, like, they've arched them around, haven't they? You look, you look, yeah, you got well, what I'm doing now is with the detailers, just... Yeah. Too fat. My eyebrows kind of turned into one eyebrow. Who cut your hair, mate? That's what he gets for cheating on me, doesn't he? Hey, actually, I had lots of good messages about that shit video. That's because people love you, it's not because you're a good barber. I'm not a good barber, I know that. I'm not a f barber. <laughs> you might have to be no, apparently, apparently, 
But my first attempt was quite good. It so. was. I will give you that. Coming in now, it's just scissor. I, 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 scissor I, I overcame. I learned something, but no. So wait, you learned, you learned that it's actually a skill, haven't you, Carla? Yeah, we don't just wing it. Well, no, well, speak for yourself, mate. Depends. <laughs> yeah, depends who it well, is. You, who are you talking about? I've got to make this heck I look like a photo, so. <laughs> Is just soften up the clipper line. Well, what we could do is we could shave my beard off oh, and then just video all the followers of my Instagram just, just, drop. just dropping off what yeah. <laughs> on. Have you got me? As soon as your beard is <laughs> so would they. Yeah. What followers anyway? I've got, I've got nine <laughs> followers now, mate. I've got three accounts, so I boosted it up. Well, I've got four. So. He's got four accounts. <laughs> I know. Fuck. Oh. That's seven. Just leaves Charlie and Craig. I've got one account. <laughs> so how much do I take off the top? The floor and run out. Um. <laughs> Because you want it, sh you want it all push forward and messy yeah. and stuff, yeah. So do you want to like sort of like take an inch off the fringe, yeah. and then I'll do it a little bit shorter towards the back. Yeah. yeah I was wondering, I was just going to chip into the hair. Normally Craig's the one that's being really horrible to everybody, isn't he? Yeah, he is. So when he's not here, you kind of feel like that. What would he, what would he be on the uh, drama triangle, mate? Oh, persecutor. He's 100% persecutor, no, mate. Yeah. As soon as he's in the wrong, he is victim. He he's goes victim. straight into victim. He goes straight into victim. So he, he like, it hurts himself before you can. <laughs> you know what it is, don't you? It's because I've, I've eaten really early. So I, I, feel, I feel empowered. I'm an empowered, strong woman now. Well, like Charlie's independent, strong woman. Yeah, Charlie's independent, strong woman. He likes strong women. Charlie, <laughs> Charlie likes to be That is true. Bug with me. Yeah, he's in the Yeah, recently. Yeah, can't do it in England. No, you can't, no. It's illegal, isn't it? Let's call it one, two, three. Call it one, two, three. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's not quite safe, mate. Is there? You fancy one, two, three, mate? No, not really. What about the Menage a Trois? Oh, yeah. Go on, Nick. Oh, we're not in France. Go on, Nick. Get on the old Britney ferry. We'll take the cross down up. Oh, fuck. Get on the old Britney. For ten, yeah? Yeah. Get on the old Pino. Get on the old ten, yeah? Well, where are we going? Is that like that? Yeah. Not loud enough, please. Hello. There you go. So what I'm doing is just chipping into the hair, give it a bit more texture when he messes it up. <coughs> so just with the finish, just going to flip through the edges, take a little bit of weight out. And some total 90 trainers. Some brown, brown. Sandals and white socks. Sandals, no, sandals and football socks, mate. You never know, never know when you need a kick about. What I'm going to do now is just with the razor. Pampers and old nappies and crops. Just hold the razor against the comb and it just takes a little bit of a texture into the hair. So just make sure you don't go too close to the root, otherwise, you get little bits of hair that stick up. Just while drying it, just run your fingers through it so it just lifts it up, stops it from drying too flat to the head, makes it easier to style. <laughs> so when putting products in your head, just rub it into your hands, make it warm, and then just mess the hair up. It's so quiet, man. I, I, I don't think that sounds going to be good on you. Just watch my work, don't listen to it. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> the kind of guy that I am, mate. Mm -hmm. Call this fingering, this finger the hair, mate.
really sticky now. Happy? I'm yeah, gonna wash my hands good. quick. I'm Josh and the Gentleman Rogues. We've got Ryan in the chair today. I'm sorting this bonce out. Let's get rid of the, yeah, the, the stick of the dump look, mate. Yeah, mate. It's been like 11 months, I think. So we're going from that to that. So how short do you want to go inside? Like yeah, two, two, yeah, yeah, two is fine, some, mate, yeah. Some quick barbershops, like, as one of the references. Oh, do they have, like, the classic photo out the front? Yeah, that's it, mate. The classic oh, photo yeah, on the front yeah. window of you? Yeah. So all we're doing Actually, just getting in with the two, there. just clear it out. Roughly just trying to clear out all this weight. Yeah. We all wonder how you get through life, Isaac. It's quite amusing. Yeah. But it's been a while since you saw your ears, isn't it? It is, mate, yeah. yeah it's been a long time. It's been doing for ages. Yeah, it's just going in with a free. Get Isaac's uh, football chant playlist on. Oh, no more football shit. <laughs> Come on, lads. Come on, son. The only thing about football is when they start yeah. playing football. We can put it on. What time is that? Three o'clock. Get down the old battle cruiser. Football songs are shit, mate, anyway. Yeah, that's some great songs out there, mate. That's some great songs. <laughs> Go for a one just on the edges. Yeah, I know. Where is the old nearest subway around here? Actually, I'll ask Isaac, mate, you know. I've not had a subway in So just going for a grade one around the neck just to taper it in. And then she'll work her out with a lever. Nah, he needs a red. He needs a red cap then. Nah, mate. Nah, mate. Would, would never wear a blue one, mate. Charles, he's got the Friday feeling. <laughs> <laughs> Listening to Morrissey. It's the Smiths, Charlie. So without taking too much off, you don't want to go too far in. Just literally follow it naturally around the edges. I'm just going to scissor over comb this, just taper it in a little bit more. It's like Shaggy from Scooby Doo. <laughs> Proper bowl cut now. So that's some free love haircut, that is, mate. Right? 
So just section this bit out. And then we just get to the fringe and then I can just work my way backwards. Because there's a lot of hair to get through. So how much you say? So we've got about half to start with, yeah, and then work our way down. So much hair. <laughs> <laughs> Cables getting tangled everywhere. What did you have in your hair? Just natural dreads, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just combing the fringe flat and just chipping into it. Oh, is it me? Your whole entire library on your phone's depressing music. Yeah, I know. Who's next? Pretty much just going to clear all of this weight out. So because obviously you've got so much hair on the top, where I sectioned it out in the beginning just to clipper it, all this hair hanging down here is just excess. So we're just going to blend it into what I've already cut underneath. So you can see like a gradual line that's going around. And we're just going to work our way, get rid of all of this hair, and then just scissor what's here into what's up top. It's easy just to cut all the hair out of the way to begin with. And then you work with just what's left and then just scissor in. There are sort of the two, the two joining parts of hair from the side of the head to the top of the head. You dread people coming in with hair like that. Yeah, it's not too bad, mate. Like it's nice to do a bit of a change once in a while, isn't it? Like skin face, skin face, skin face, skin face. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, like so many people have the same haircut now. I mean, this is a this is Love Island. This is Love Island's playlist, mate. Okay, to really bad. Yeah, you get so many like the same haircuts, just one after another. Yeah. And obviously this is like a normal haircut that you'd get, but the fact that obviously you come in with what you had in the beginning, yeah, yeah, that's, that's the fun part, yeah. <laughs> Imagine Isaac, the face of Viagra. <laughs> that face. <laughs> So just joining up the uh, two sides of the hair now. Give it a little bit of texture as well by chipping in. <laughs> Dale. Can we get Carlos on the on the music? Nah. Oh, Isaac. This is like the stuff I really, really can't live with. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm really... I'm, I, I can bear pretty much every type of music apart from these things, man. I don't get it. Auto-tuned mumble rap. Talent. Using a bit of the sea salt spray.
They left the fringe a little bit longer, so obviously it doesn't yeah, yeah, yeah. give away like sort of the hairline a little bit. Yeah. So we know it's literally yeah, it's tapered in the neckline. Get rid of all that bulk. Yeah. Happy? Yeah. We're at Gentleman Rose Club, we've got Joe in the chair, we're going to give him a nice skin fade, tidy up the beard, and a little bit of a chop on the top, bit of texture. Let's do this. So just going to go in with the two just to clear all the weight to begin with. So now we're just going to go with a zero and just follow this all the way back round, follow them the same under the two, about a finger's length apart. I'm not even two minutes in and he's already given enough on filming. So now we're just going in with the foils to just take that stubble right down. Um, just go up and down, mate. <laughs> yeah, so I, yeah, no, I go, I go this way around so you get both of the uh, both of the blades at the same time. The only technique I do have is once I get near the top to fade it in, I go sideways and brush it across ever so slightly. But we'll get to that once we've got to that stage. So this is the, uh, the boring part of foiling, it just takes forever. All right, so now that you've got that line going sideways, and just slightly thick it till it starts buffering that line out. Still doing the half, just going around the head, just slowly creeping in. This will leave a tiny little line underneath, which I then use my osters, which are zero gap, just to clear, clear the difference between the, uh, the foil and the half. Just open my half into just the one and start working your way up. And now go for grade one, open. Oof, seductively eat that banana. <laughs> now I get my clipper comb, go in underneath. I'm going to try and make it a little bit more square and then bevel the edges at the top. I normally prefer scissor over comb on most haircuts, but I've done Joe's a few times and this uh, saves me a lot of time and gives a, gives a cleaner finish. So now with my Osters going in with a zero just to sort of soften up this faint line that goes around the... Uh, entirety of the head. And this is just due to my um, <clears throat> detailers. I don't really, uh, don't really mess around with them, so I zero gap these and uh, use these just to blend the uh, foil uh, to the 0.5 because the Osters open up to a one. So just uh, as I walk around the head, just working the lever as well, just softening it up.
He was watching the barbershop bloopers the other day, me and Mahesh. The one where, where you, you? one where you sneezed on me. <laughs> 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 I, just thought, I, thought was, I thought Jack was going to do some more. Yeah, yeah, he is. We asked him the other day. We were well over doing a blooper. Yeah. That's actually did a right, that did a right, that video. That, that did a yeah, it won't be a really popular one, but it's fine. It's fun, it's fun. I right? think now, with the channel being even bigger, I think it'll be cool. and I've saturated Joe's head. We can uh, cut it how he wants it. Still leaving the length in the fringe, yeah? yeah? And then just a bit short towards the back, yeah? Yep. That's it. So Joe likes his uh, fringe a little bit longer, so we always chip a little bit off every time, but then as we work towards the back, just get shorter and shorter. So we're going to keep, keep the uh, same length of the beard, just tidy up around these edges, keep the cheek line reasonably high into a nice point. That's how he prefers it. Was that carrot and ginger soup? That's kind of like a gingerbread and a cup of water in it. Yeah. Same, same thing, thing in it. Yeah. Just like a gingerbread. It's like you basically the same thing as gingerbread man. And drink hot water. <laughs> We call that the same, same, but different. Yeah. And now we're just going to take all the excess hair off his throat, just above the Adam's apple. This is uh, the worst part of trimming Joe's beard because we always laugh. It's impossible. It's a straight face. I just have to wear a hat so I can have to look him in the eye. Uh, <laughs> 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 the edge is so like. <laughs> I do love a bit of Marmite. I do love you know Marmite. what? I wasn't very keen, but Jenna stopped buying it for the house. And the more I hate it, the more I, I liked it. Yeah. Roger the Dodger, he did it. Very far. <laughs> very far. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Sam killed it. No. No, it was not me. Just 
a little bit of Christmas. Big game coming up, Hitman 2. Magic man. I think there's a dozen Hitmans to be fair. Just like a repeat game, innit? Mm. There you have it, Carlos. One Joe freshed up dancer. Bold. <laughs>